Welcome to the Plate Doctor channel. Today we're going to be building an attenuator. This is basically going to be a large master volume that goes between the amp and the speaker. This is an L-pad. It basically turns the power from your amplifier and the heat and then some of it goes to your speaker. This is useful if you want to crank up your amp and get the power tube distortion without blowing the windows out of your house. I've already drilled out the enclosure to fit all the parts and cooling vents on the side. Okay, now it's time to wire everything up. I got a schematic off the internet. This one has a 4 8 ohm switch that I'm not going to be using. So all there really is to do is wire up the on off switch, the bright switch, and the L pad. So let's get started. So here I am with the attenuator hooked up to an 8 ohm load. I have a 200 hertz signal going into the amplifier and I have a clean sine wave coming out at 58.8 watts on my dummy load. As I turn this knob down, we're at 55 watts, 45 watts. 40 watts, 35 watts, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, Here you can see I had this thing dissipating about 60 watts and it did indeed get quite hot and started smoking. This is supposed to be able to dissipate 100 watts but I'm not really sure that I would trust it at 100 watts. But just to be sure I now have the amp at 99 watts of output. Let's crank it up and see what happens. Man, that looks like it's getting hot. It 
So overall, in conclusion, I would say that this attenuator works very well. I'm not really happy with the capacitor choice and the bright switch. I think the capacitors are just way too large. This L pad definitely cannot disperse 100 watts, but I typically use this on a 7 watt amp. I turn the amp all the way up and turn the attenuator almost all the way down, so I get that nice power tube distortion at bedroom levels.